thanks for sticking with us during this virtual field day. Once again, this is Jordan Booth, and I'm excited to share my research exploring the impact of cultural practices on ultra dwarf Bermuda grass putting greens in Virginia. This trial has been funded through a grant from the United States Golf Association and was initiated in 2018 to look at the long term impacts of core aeration on playability and quality of ultra dwarf Bermuda grass putting greens. Ultradorf Bermuda grass putting greens have been successfully grown throughout the southeast for many years. Thanks to recent advancements in breeding and management, Ultradorf Bermuda grass putting greens have made their way into Virginia. Our shorter growing season and cold winters provide new challenges that this research aims to tackle. A few questions include how often do Ultradorf Bermuda grass putting greens need to be aerated? How quickly will they recover? And how aggressively do we need to be? with these cultural practices. This study began with a survey of over 25 golf course superintendents from South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia. We decided to evaluate a range of percent surface disruption based on this survey. Aeration treatments with a half inch coring time include untreated, 5%, 10%, 15%, and 20% surface disruption as well as 20% surface disruption every other year. These plots are core aerated, cleaned up, and backfilled with sand. Recovery is assessed following aeration and firmness, turf grass quality, and ball roll characteristics are measured quarterly to evaluate the impact of these core aeration programs. This is the third green at the Virginia Tech Research Short Course. This is a G12 Ultra Dwarf Bermuda grass constructed with a complete reconstruction method. Our first plot here is 10% surface disruption. Our second plot is 20% surface disruption. And these plots were aerated and backfilled in late August of 2020 and still recovering. Our third plot is 15% surface disruption. All of these surface disruption numbers are achieved with a half inch core aeration. Our fourth plot is 5% surface disruption. Our fifth plot is 20% surface disruption achieved through half inch core aeration every other year. So this plot was only aerated in 2019 and was not aerated in 2018 or 2020. The sixth and final plot in this rep is our untreated control. The 20% core aeration every other year really stands out in this rep. Initially during this study, surface firmness and turf grass quality were more closely associated with construction method, but in recent years, treatment differences have been apparent. This research will continue to hopefully provide golf course superintendents with a playbook for managing ultra dwarf Bermuda grass putting greens in Virginia.